Once again, it's your boy, Big Flex, man, 2023. You know how we do. Flex your vote. Today, we're joined by Mr. Weldon Tyler, Board of Supervisor member, Brunswick County. Got some major, major things he want to talk about in the community. And today, he's going to join us on Flexing with Dex. Hey, Mr. Tyler. How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? Bro? I'm doing good. good how you doing? You. Good, good to see you. you. Good, to, good see to see you. you. I'm glad you could join us today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a very important time in Brunswick County. Yes, it is. And you're a... Um, standing member of the Board of Supervisors. Yes. Introduce yourself to the people. Well, my name is Welton Tyler. I'm running for re-election for the Powhatan District. I'm living in Freeman, Virginia. I've been serving um, on the board for 20 plus years, serving the people of the Powhatan District. I'm here asking for your support and your vote on November the 7th. And I just want to talk about a few things that what's going on in the county and we're making progress in the county. Big Flex hanging out with Mr. Weldon Tyler, member of Brunswick County Board of Supervisors. Mr. Tyler, mm -hmm. I, I, like you said, you're running again for re-election. Mm -hmm. What's keeping you motivated to keep, you know, serving? Well, what actually keeps me motivated to keep serving? First, I'd like to get, thank you for giving the opportunity to meet yes, with you no problem, and get no the problem, word out to no the problem. citizens. What really keeps me motivated and running a re-election re again, because we're doing a lot of great things in Brunswick County. I've been serving the board for 20 plus years, and I see the changes coming. Mm -hmm. If you look at my sign, my sign said progressive leadership. And at this point, on serving on the Board of Supervisors and moving the county forward, we need someone to progress leadership that can move things forward. Mm -hmm. We don't need to go backward. We're That's moving right. forward. That's right. That's um, right. For an example, we got a lot of great things going on. We reconstructed the school over there, fit, spent $54 million to get new schools done, new athletic fields done for our kids and our community. Mm -hmm. This is a great part of economic development. Okay. Um, okay. When, okay. when the citizens, okay. um, businesses come in, they look at your school system, look at your scores, and they look at what do we have to offer them? So we economically, it's a part of our economic vision. We have a 2035 vision that anyone can go look and see. It tells you about the vision of the county and how much progress we've made. You can see also that the trees are coming down where the hotel is coming at. Oh, we yeah. got a hotel coming at, Hotel okay. L. Okay. Um, we partner with some great business leaders and that's coming to the county. Um, we're just doing a lot of great things and I just want to get the word out to the citizens. I need your vote one more time for re-election because we're moving forward. Progressive leadership, what it takes, it takes difficult decisions to move things forward. Um, I just need that vote. And I know you, the man, can get the word out to it, to the citizens. I can't, I'm can't. i knocking on doors, but I can't get every, to every door. That's right. That's what, every door. That's, and that's what we hear. We're the people's platform. We're getting people, you know, opportunity to get to know their candidate. Um, so that's what we're here for, Mr. Tyler. So let me ask you, Mr. Tyler, um, let's talk about, okay, you're a uh, Powhatan district. Powhatan so what's district. some of the communities and towns that, you know, that, you're well, representing. Well, Robert, my district is a kind of huge district. My district actually run back to the Lake Gaston. Okay. Okay, so it's rural. Um, it started actually from Cedar Grove area and goes all back all the way back to the lake area. Um, Dryburg Road, Poplar Mount area, things of that nature, Iron okay. Bridge Road, okay. all those areas like that. Okay. So I can't make it to every That's door right. that. That's right. And That's I just right. need people to get out and vote, cast their vote. Uh, do not take this election for granted. Because we, because we're moving forward, we have great board of supervisors, and we're working to improve the community. Yes. I think what a lot, a lot of things happen. People get the board of supervisors confused with the town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but the board of supervisors are also responsibility number one is to make sure the county is financially sound, mm -hmm. and we are financially sound. We de we actually um, develop policies and do things of zoning mm -hmm. issues like that. For an example, we talk about the solar, the solar plant. That's right. Solar That's plants, right. the solar plants, and things like that. So. Actually, the board super has an ordinance that's really tight. So, for the citizen, don't be don't. I don't want you to worry about the solar because we are actually going to bring revenue into the county. I'm talking about okay. billions and billions of dollars. So that, that will help us with our tax base. We'll actually help our tax base decrease tax for the senior citizens, drop our tax rate, and what it's a great opportunity for the landowners mm -hmm. and the county that's right. because most of the solar farms, majority of all the solar farms, actually. It's back in the woods, out of sight, mm -hmm. but you're getting revenue from those that's things, right, that's right, that's uh, revenues, and also it's just job opportunities. So we have a lot of great things on our plate that's coming. Um, we got some businesses looking at us, and um, I can't say what the businesses are right, right, right now, right, okay. but they can provide like 450 jobs. Okay, but I can't good. say what the business is right now because we're in the phase of negotiation. So I just want to get the word out. I need the vote. I need their support. If you got a cousin. They live in Sturgeon District. You got somebody living in Powell. Call them say, vote for Tyler. Re-elect Tyler. You know, I'm a progressive leader. I make decisions based on the what's best for the county and the community. And um, so I just need that support in the vote. All right. As far as the right. recreation, we're moving forward with the recreation. Um, 
we have the um, student union. The, the county actually purchased this um, St. Paul student union. We went in there and redid the bowling alley. The bowling, you can actually go bowl. It's four lanes. Okay. But it's a uh, part for rec recreation for our citizens, okay? okay? Okay. So we're just moving forward, and I just need that support. Um, okay. We fund emergency services. I mean, we do a lot of things. Of course, we don't help pay. We're doing paid emergency service. Now, years, probably years ago, people remember when it was volunteer. That's right. That's gone. Okay. So, so That's they gone. They get paid to be they, they fire department the department and paid rest okay. Okay. That's okay. paid because First actually. First responders, okay. First responders, exactly. They are actually paid. That's a beautiful so thing, y'all. That's, that's a beautiful that's, thing. That's, that's a paid position. So a lot of says, what are we getting for our money? What are we getting? You're getting those services. Mm -hmm. And that's our job to provide those services in the community to protect our citizens. So okay. we just support all external and internal agencies. Um, if you look at my record, you can pull it's minutes. It's public, it's public record. Okay. You can go look at my vote. The way I vote, I vote to improve the county and what's best for the citizens of Brunswick County. So I just want to move things forward. I need that vote in our prayers. Okay. Flexing with Dex 2023 Flex Your Vote. You know what it is, man. Hanging out with Mr. Weldon Tyler. Hey, he's he representing the Power Tan District, and he wants your vote November 7th. Mr. Tyler, once again, I want to thank you for coming on Flexing with Dex. Hey, reaching the citizen, people platform, you know. Hey, My pleasure. Yeah, My pleasure. And, um, like you said, you've been on the board many years, and hey, you're just trying to move forward. That's it. The future. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? And like you say, everything is public record. Right, exactly. The way, you know, decisions are made. Exactly. And, and the county and everything. Right. So uh, let me ask you about this. The literacy in Brunswick County, in the school system. How, how's the literacy? Can you address that situation? Yeah, so <clears throat> literacy, of course, we're a rural county. Mm -hmm. and, and what you find in most rural counties, there are literacy problems, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, we fund the school system. The Board of South, we fund the school system. Um, they have their school board that actually make decisions on their curriculum, what's things best for the um, students. But what we do, we work collaboratively with the school board to provide funding to help with the literacy in the county. So, um, so we want to make sure that every student can perform to the best of their potential. A little bit about myself, I'm from Jerry originally, Sussex County. Okay. okay? I didn't grow up with a civil spoon in my mouth. That's right. That's right. Well, I mean, when you said we was um, poor. That's right. That's right. You know, and but my parents always instilled in us, do your schoolwork, work at this, right? Mm -hmm. And the opportunity will come. Okay, so I think that every student, and I know this, this is my heart. Every student deserves opportunities. That's right. Right. Yeah. And what you got to understand that every student not going to go to college. That's right. College not for every, every student, right. but you want to prepare those students for opening their own business up, entrepreneurship. Um, but those students want to um, go to college, and that's what we try to work with the school system to build a curriculum so they can actually take care of themselves and their family and be a good citizen. Yeah. So I see how the uh, like you say, everybody's not going to college. That's right. And um, I see how the trades have been taken out of the school, mm -hmm. public schools. Mm -hmm. Can you? I mean, that's that's a hard blow when the trades the trades well, got taken out of the school. Well, that's a hard blow. What happened? You know what happened? I think years ago, everybody say, "I want my kid to go to college. I want my right. kid to do right. this right." That's right. And trades. Probably um, when I was in school, for example, in Sussex, we had welding. Yeah, okay. yeah we had it here. We had um, carpentry, carpentry, electricity, all those things. It was at row warranty. But what I'm saying now that what a lot of people find is that school, college tuition is so expensive. Yeah. So uh, someone go to college, they get out with a $100,000 bill. So those individuals that does not desire to go to college, so I want to be able to take care of my family. I want to make some money and take care of my family. Just be a good citizen. Mm -hmm. Those trades, once you know, make six figures. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they actually make so. more than teachers make. That's okay, right. so you That's know right. what I'm saying. That's but right. like I say, the school board makes that ultimate uh, responsibility on the school board. The board of supervisors just work with the school board and say, hey, okay. what, what can you look when they come for funding? Are you looking at this? Are you looking at that? So that's important. So we work a collaborative with the school okay. school board on those issues. Okay, like okay, that. okay. Okay, you know, Brunswick County, they face a lot of challenges, economic challenges. Mm -hmm. How do you plan, you know, promote that, you know, development and growth, growth job mm -hmm. growth in the okay. county? Okay, so actually, I, we are, like I said, we wrote a 2035 vision. Mm -hmm. And we looked at Brunswick County as a whole. We looked at areas where we need to improve. We looked at, is economically, you're right, they're facing economic challenges, yes, right? Yes. So, um, like I said, the hotel economy is bringing jobs, mm -hmm. right? It's job opportunities. Reconstruction of the schools is job opportunities, okay? So when I look at it from the Board of Suvar perspective, we save money on one end, because when you consolidate the schools, that means when I when the Board of Suvar do their budget, there's decreased costs in certain things like transportation, because everything is one central location, okay? Economic challenges, like I said, the solar, the solar. Solar is a, 
It is. Big it thing. Is. It is. It is. Um, and it's bringing billions of dollars to the county. It's bringing billions of dollars. So those billions of dollars, I, I, I repeat myself, that it's going to provide upper opportunities for Brunswick County. Mm -hmm. We have with our tax rate, here with the senior citizen, things of that nature. Also, with the hotel coming, once you start bringing industry in, it's a spinoff of That's bringing right. other industry That's in. Right. That's right. And so um, we're dealing with the infrastructure, um, the town on the infrastructure, okay. the town. And we work collab with the town to improve our um, infrastructure for the county. So we're at the, ta the table working things out. If you remember when the land at Pipe Coastline was coming, That's right. That's and you know right. it had some challenge in court and it stopped it, right? Okay. But down on my quarter, my district on 58, that was a natural gas. What a lot of companies look for, they look for natural gas. Right, they can't afford the propane. That's right. So we got sites on 58 that the county had purchased that we're going to develop um, as parks, economic parks. Um, so we're looking at those th things like that. Um, water and sewer, we're working with the town. Um, but economically, there's an economic challenge in Brunswick County. But I'm saying this board is progressive enough, and we have put things in place to improve our county. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, since, since we, let me ask you about health care mm -hmm. you know like in the rural area people struggle with health care so um how, how can you address is you are, are how you, we address that yeah. yeah sure we have a health health ambassador um that deal with, that meets um monthly and deal with issues um mm -hmm. trying to get a word out to um individual in the, um, community um dealing with health care um as you know in the black population colon counts is number one cause yes. but it's all about educating the citizens and educate, we do that through um, social media, we do it through flyers, we do it through churches, community organizations, right? And once we educate our community, mm -hmm. right, your health care will probably improve. Um, that, and that goes back to literacy. That's right. Because a person that can read, That's right? right. That's right. They'll know what to eat, right? That's right. They'll know what to eat, how to eat, what not to eat, right? That's right. So that literacy part plays an important role in the economic development, um, plays an important role in our health care. And of course, the Board of Supervisors, we fund um, agents like the Health Ambassador. We fund those things to help with the, helping the community with health care. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Brunswick County is a, you know, you know it's diverse, mm -hmm. right? So how do you plan to foster inclusivity, you know, among the residents? You know, everybody include, you know, is it diverse? Yeah. You know? This is diverse, yeah. Right. Brunswick County is, a, is actually diverse. So you have the health and you have nice, right? Mm -hmm. But when... We on that board of supervisors, we actually look at things what's most important for everybody. Mm -hmm. So, and there's, there's nothing wrong with competition. That's what we have to understand. Competition is good. Good, com that's right. good competition that's is good. Right. I, like, I like where you say good. That's, that's it's, right. a, it's a good thing. That's competition right. is good because if you, when we start getting competitive, we bring different things in the community, different business in the community, you right? And so when things get competitive, the actual your, your rate of um, hourly wages may go up, mm -hmm. things like that nature. Mm -hmm. So competitive competition is good for it the is, county. It is. Good. It is. It is. Very good. Very good. Very good. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What strategies do you have in mind to attract, you know, like new businesses and industries in the county? Well, we have a strategy. Like I said, our 2035 um, vision plan. We have a high a economic development individual. And I always said this. We hire someone that live here in the county. That's right. So when you hire someone to live in the county, they are vested in the county. The kids go to the public school mm -hmm. system. That's the right. kids um, mingle with other kids. So we have hired our economic development, um, Ms. Reynolds. Okay. And she understands our plight. She's taking it out. She's going out on a board. You may not believe this. When I first got on the board, 20-something years ago, okay. we went to we call the Economic Development Council in Richmond, State Council. Mm -hmm. And we said we want business here in Brunswick. They were saying Brunswick want businesses. And we had to build that reputation that we want businesses. Right. Now, going back again, it's called progressive leadership. We have to move forward. And Ms. Reynolds, she's doing an excellent job. She's out there hitting the bushes for her. Yes. She's not sitting behind her desk. Okay. She's going out to different communities, going out to different things, bringing individuals in. Ms. Reynolds landed at a hotel. Because on our, if you look at our 2035 vision, it says we need a hotel. Right. If you look at our 2035 vision, it said we need a recreation. And we're starting to think of recreation with the solar money. Mm -hmm. It said we can expand the conference center with recreation. And we, and we have a plan. And it's a great plan to expand that, that area down there. Okay. Because it's a five acres, it's a five acre plot. Okay. 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 So um, she is carrying out our vision on the board of Sioux Valley. That's why this, important, this election is so important. We can't go back. We can't, if, if you want progressive leadership, vote for Tyler. 
If you want to go back 20 years, don't vote for Tyler. Okay. But you gotta move, we got to move things forward. We got to move things forward. And this, this election is so important. And I just wanted to get the word out to all the citizens. It's so important. It's so important. We have worked hard for the last 20 years. And we're finally at the crust Talk of things. Talk to him, Mr. Allen. We're, we're finally at the crust of things, um, moving things forward. So, like I say, if all cousins, friends, everybody, you may live in a di different district, ask them to cast a vote for Tyler re-election. Mr. Tyler, let me ask you, mm -hmm. um, what steps will you take to engage the community to ensure their, their voice is getting heard and like, decision-making in the mm -hmm. county? Well, as I say, well, I will continue to um, have community meetings. Actually, I used to have community meetings every quarterly, right, mm -hmm. at um, different areas um, throughout the county. Um, try to get a central location, use it behind Powerton. And what I found was the fact that the same individual come to the board supervisor meeting, the same individual at that meeting. So my strategy this time would be through social media. Mm -hmm. um, the county have a web page. Um, of course, you have the local paper. A lot of people don't buy the local paper. I right. think the most important strategy now is through social media, mm -hmm. um, encouraging citizens come to the meeting for their input. Mm -hmm. um, I, at different civic organization meetings, come and um, give information. They may go to churches, different things like that. I think that's important. That would be a strategy so people can be informed. Um, I think a lot of time people are not informed. So when they're not informed, they really don't, don't know how to cash their vote. And that's why I'm meeting with you. I want to inform the public of things what's happening in the community. Um, we are ready to, um, at the cost of making great things happen. So this is my issue. I will try to keep informed through social media. We have a kind of web page, um, different things like that. Okay. Um, Brunswick County is a beautiful place, Mr. Tyler, you mm -hmm. know, natural beauty. Um, so how will you protect and promote, you know, like recreation people, you know, for outdoor parks and recreation? Right. So we, like I said, on, on our 2035 plan, we help parks and recreation is a, is a large thing, right? Mm -hmm. So like I said before, we, we understand recreation is important, not only for the youth, it's important for me also. Mm -hmm. Um, and I said, with this plan we have in place, that's why it's so important for for many to be reelected, that we can use some of that funding from the solar billions and billions of dollars to expand on our recreation right. throughout the county. Um, you have several recreation areas in the county, but um, they're not large recreation, but it's a form of recreation. Mm -hmm. um, also, we have um, a vision. We have, I don't know if citizens know that, we purchased the airport. So okay. the airport on 5th Eight, the county owns that. So the county has done some things to get that ready to have some nice festivals there. Yes. Um, okay. We always have the brunt taste of bronzer, but bring in other, other things, that's right. other things. That's so right. we're looking at that's things right. like that. And that's throughout the department of tourism, bronzer tourism. And that's a major thing. People, you know, they people don't want to drive our way to right. go have have, have some in your own mm -hmm. hometown. Exactly, Festival exactly. Different things. Exactly. Different things. So let me ask you about this. Let me ask you about um, y'all relationship with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. um, how do y'all uh, get the trust? You know, between the community and law enforcement, do y'all work partner with yeah. law enforcement? Yeah. So the thing with that, yeah, we work partners with law enforcement. We express because we fund the law enforcement. Okay. We fund them. Okay. 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 We fund them, but what citizens understand when they're constitutional officers, they really don't answer to the county. We just provide funding, and so that's important for citizens to understand. But we have a working relationship with law enforcement, mm -hmm. saying, "Look, could you address this issue? Can you address the issue?" But they're actually elected by the people and they're constitutional officers. So okay. they hire their own staff. Okay. They, uh, they have their own uh, platform of vision, but they, but the law firm, they try to work with the county because we do provide funding. So uh, we, we do that. Okay, okay, okay. So finally, so finally Mr. Mr. Tyler, um, what would you like to convey to the voters, you know, about in the county? Well, that you, you know, you want to represent them. Yeah, yeah, I just ask the people in the Powhatan district, not only the Powhatan district, all the districts, because mm -hmm. when I vote, I vote for the best of Brunswick County. Uh, I need your vote. I need your prayers. Get out. Start voting. It's early voting. Um, tell your cousins, nephews, mom, dad, sisters and brothers, everybody, preachers, everybody, vote okay. for Tyler. And I, I really would appreciate it. I need one more turn to make things move things forward. So, again, the progressive leadership will make a difference in this election. And that's where your vote and your prayers. Thank you. Once again, I want to thank you, Mr. Tyler. Thank you, Des. For coming by. And uh, it's 2023. Flex your vote. Get to know your candidate. Flex it with Dex. Mr. Tyler. Okay. Appreciate thank you, it. Thanks for your time. All right. Thank you.